Doctor, when it comes to anti-aging, you're kind of a how-to guy. Where does one start, and maybe more importantly, when does one start okay. an anti-aging program? Well, think about it as a definition of aging. What is aging? The simplest definition is probably, that we can all agree on, aging is a constant decrease in the capacity to do things, physically and mentally. Physically and mentally, physically, muscle-wise, mentally, performance-wise. Guess what? A lot of the basic uh, health practices already enter the picture here. But a little bit more precise, years ago there was Professor Emmanuel Cheraskin, Alabama University School of Medicine, the genius. I mean, we all looked at him as, as the god of this alternative medicine, right? And he was my mentor for several years. Professor Cheraskin defined lifelong health as a state of homeostasis achieved by doing so and so many variables correctly. We worked together for quite some time and the many variables that he had defined, they were actually all part of health practices. So now a redefinition of lifelong health, optimum health, best possible health, is a state of homeostasis achieved by doing these several different health practices correctly, right? And uh, people used to then say, well, it's just health practices has really nothing to do with aging. But in the meantime, everybody heard about telomeres, right? <clears throat> with telomeres, we confirmed health practices as true aging modalities, right? And it's very interesting. Telomeres, it goes into the intelligent uh, design thinking, right? Because every species has telomeres. And uh, they have the end of the DNA, of, of your DNA, there's uh, extensions. They have a different number of subdivisions. For example, for humans, we have 54 subdivisions. And every time when a cell divides, it chops up one of those subdivisions. And if we wouldn't kill ourselves with other things, you know, smoking or drugs or any of the other stupid things that we do, by the time all 54 are used up, that would be the maximum lifespan of about 110 to 120. Right? Dogs have only 15, so it's about 22 to 25. The Galapagos turtoise has 75, about corresponding to around 250. Right? And then they've demonstrated clearly that good health practices are truly maintaining telomere lengths. That means exercise is the strongest factor to maintain telomere lengths. Right? Stress is the strongest telomere shortening factor, right? And, and then there are several nutrients, and the more and more things we examine, the more and more factors we find that actually either maintain telomere lengths or slow down the shortening of telomeres, right? Or in some areas of stress, we learn how to control the stress, like the general. They ask the general, do you jump? Don't you get any ulcers? The general says, I don't get ulcers, I give ulcers, right? I mean, that is utilizing the stress for your advantage, okay? <clears throat> so, back to the beginning. Lifelong health, optimum health, the state of homeostasis, achieved by doing these variable health practices correctly, okay? Okay, that is the most important part, right? And uh, from there on, we then take it into different areas, uh, evaluate how strong they are. For example, what is the strongest factor in preventing cognitive losses? Guess what? It is muscle exercise. What is the strongest factor in possibly counteracting the negative effects of genetically modified foods? Exercise, muscle exercises, right? And uh, then, <clears throat> I'm working with Professor Cheraskin. We actually went a step further and found or determined that lifelong health is synonymous with best immune system, slowest rate of aging, best recovery from disease, sexuality, fitness, and so on and so on. Right? So we have no more excuses for not practicing those health practices correctly. And that's the foundation of a building, right? I mean, you want to build a building, this is the foundation, and everything goes on top of that, right? I mean, you can, you can adjust 
certain health practices to make up for others, but in some specific areas, you know, there is no way of adjusting health practices to make up for exercise, for example. 